everyone. I hope you're well out there and thank you so much for tuning in for today's PICTO webinar. My name is Gosia and I'm a demand generation strategist with PictoChart. And I'm so glad that you're able to join us today for the demo webinar. In recent months, many of us started creating more webinars, workshops, virtual conferences, video Q and A's, vlogs, and so on. At PictoChart, for example, we have produced double the amount of video content in the recent year than the year before, which was amazing. We have been working on a virtual conference, started delivering monthly webinars, published PictoChat series on YouTube, and created webinar-style demos. What we found is that the videos helped our team stay more connected with the customers and users. That's because you're more than just a paragraph in the email. So you're more authentic and you're talking to them in real person. So that evokes emotions. Yet our most important learnings out of this video producing experience were three things. First of all, webinars and live events get very high engagement. Did you know that videos can get 12 times more shares than any other content format? Think about that. One of our PICTO webinars, for example, had over 900 signups and over 300 live attendees. Another thing is that producing video content requires a lot of coordination behind the scenes. This may, for example, involve securing the speakers, editing and rendering the videos, moderating the chat, operating across time zones, promoting the events, and so much more. But the worst thing for us was the editing and rendering part because that took us a lot of time. Finally, we realized that these videos deserve to live more than once. And let's be honest here, not everyone can catch a live event. We know how busy our lives became over the last year. So turning your content into an on-demand webinar or extracting parts of it to be shared on social media can really boost engagement for your content. That's why we created PictoStory, a video editing platform that's as easy as taking notes. Because we believe that anyone can create great videos and that it should be for everyone. So today, I'd like to give you a quick walkthrough of PictoStory to show you how you can use it to transform your video content. Are you ready? All right, so let's jump right in. So here we are after logging in into PictoStory. And this is the dashboard, the main dashboard. It's very simple. On the top, we've got a couple of icons uh, to upload your videos or create one yourself uh, using the record with webcam option. So you can either upload your own video from the computer, uh, from Google Drive or from Zoom. For example, if you're hosting webinars and you're recording them like I am right now, for example. Then on the left-hand side here, we've got projects and clips. Projects is the place where your video will be uploaded. So when you do this, the video first starts rendering and then transcribing. And this is where it will be hosted. Clips, on the other hand, is the place where all your bite-sized snippets will go into. And I'll talk about that in a second. But first of all, before we go any further, let's just go into the video. I have an example video here under projects that I would like to now edit it. It's my longer video. I know that I cannot share it really on social media or because it's too long. And we all know that people's attention span is short. So in order to grab attention of your audience, you need to convey your message in a very fast way. So let's click on the video itself. And this is what you will see. On the left-hand side is the transcript. So when we uploaded the video, I told you that uh, the platform transcribes the video. So this is where you will see the timed transcript on the left-hand side. On the right is the video itself. Now it comes with the default title, the one that you gave the video before you uploaded it, but it's very easy to change it. You basically just do whatever you have to do in the title, add uh, whatever text you need to, but we're talking about Pick the Story here, so let's stick with Pick the Story. You will also notice that on the right, the, the, the title changes very quickly. And this is the part where I mentioned earlier that Pick the Story is all about editing videos in the same way 
as you would edit the text. So you work literally like that. So let's say right now I am not happy with the first part because maybe I would like to say something different here, or maybe I'm not happy with the exclamation mark. I can just basically remove it and add a comma. And you'll see that it appears on the right hand side. If I am not happy with, let's say some wording, or something is wrong with the name of the person that's there, you want to change something, then you basically can do it and remove that part. And it will be removed immediately from the video on the right-hand side. Another thing is that let's say we've got this line here under 11th second, where we may say, okay, it's a little bit too long in the subtitles. So maybe we want to cut it in half because we want to emphasize something and move the other part to the next line. So what we will do, we will basically position the cursor where you want to move the part of the text, hit enter, and what happens is that it's split in half and then part of your uh, subtitle goes to the next section. Easy, right? Now that we've finished with the transcript and we're happy with how the subtitles will portray under our video, let's move on to customizing our video. So we go on the right, and here you've got a couple of options. First of all, you can customize the title and the subtitles, font, size, we can make it bold, italics, you can align it in the proper way, or you can even highlight it. So let's try changing a couple of things. Let's say I'm not happy with this font, I want to change it to a different one. Let's go with this one. Okay, now I think it's a little bit too big and maybe I will want to fit maybe a subtitle there. So let's just make it a little bit smaller. We can do that. Well, that's too small a little bit, but we can just take it up there a little bit. Now let's make it bold because we want to, we want the subtitle or the title to stand out and let's make it italic. Now you can do the same thing with your captions at the bottom of the video. Also, what you would want to do here, because let's say you want to highlight the part of the title that you like, you can highlight it into the color that you prefer. So we can go ahead with this one. And we've got that. Now, if you want to stay even more on brand, you can change the color of the background of your video. So instead of having just a pure black color, we can go ahead and change it to something else, whether it's a grayish color or anything else that you would like to have that matches your brand. So let's, for the time being, let's just go ahead and do this. All right, and here we go. One last thing I'd like to mention here is you'll notice this little watermark on the top right of the video, pick the story. So this watermark is there with your free plan. However, if you wanted to remove it, because that's an option, or you would like to upload your own watermark, your own logo, you can do that by just simply signing up for a paid plan and you'll be able to customize the video fully. All right, so what you can do now is two things. Now, either you can export the whole video Let's say you're happy with the whole thing and you know that you want to have it for whatever purpose. And then you just go to the top button here on the right top and click export video and the whole video will be exported. Or let's say you would like to select just the highlights of it. So some parts of it that you would like to basically draw attention to. Let's say, for example, you were talking about a product release. And then later you recorded a video and later one of your colleagues told you that a certain feature is not going to make it into this release, but you recorded it already. So what you do, you basically remove it from the transcript and it won't be there anymore. So you highlight that part that talks about the section that you don't want and remove it. The other option is to highlight the part that you would like to turn into a shareable clip. So let's say this is the portion that I would like to later share on social media platforms. So what I'll do, I'll just go and export that clip, give it a title, let's say the story introduction and export the video. It'll take a couple of seconds for it to be exported. And when it happens, 
then you'll be able to see it in the clips section. So we go to clips and here we are. You'll see that the video or the clip rather is rendering. So it'll take just a couple of seconds, maybe a minute or two, uh, depending on the length of the clip and the video itself. So here we are, the clip has rendered 100% and here it is ready to be downloaded and shared on social media. So you go to this little icon here and download it directly to your computer. Now, what's going to be available very soon is the ability to share that clip directly on social media or use a URL to do that. But that's coming very soon. So stay tuned. And that's easy as it gets. There's nothing more to it that's difficult. It's very simple. You edit your videos using the transcript and as if you were working with a text document. And that was the idea behind it, to make it as manageable, accessible, and easy for everyone. That would be it about the demo. I hope you really enjoyed it. If you're curious to find out how Pick the Story can transform your video content and how it can help you boost engagement for it, then go ahead, go to pickthestory.com and sign up there for free. If you have any questions that you would like to ask about this webinar or about the demo or about the product itself, feel free to contact myself directly at gosha.pictochart.com or our awesome support team at support at pictochart.com. I would also encourage you to follow us on social media because this is the place where we put all the updates regarding Picto Story, anything that's happening, any new features that we're releasing, and also fun content. So please do that. So thank you again for tuning in today. Stay safe and goodbye.